All right, how's it going, YouTube? First time back in two years. Um, I did a collection video of Infinity War back in April of 2017. I did not show my face. This is the first time showing my face to the people. Um, okay. Um, so. <clears throat> So, um, as I was saying, it's been two years, um, I did say there was more to come to someone who commented on my video back in 2017, and I did not do anything. I ended up working all that summer, um, making some money, trying to support myself, and gather more of a collection so I could do more with this. Now today for you I have got most of my Marvel Lego collection. I have collected all the Infinity War and all of the Endgame sets together so I am going to be showing my or showcasing pretty much my collection that I have. I am missing a few components of this collection. They are in my display case at home. Right now I'm at school. So, yippee ki -yay. And let's see where we get from there. All right, welcome back, folks. As you can see, I got half my face now. So, you know, that's interesting. You can see the best part of me. Um, all right, so here is a frontal view after that panning. Frontal view of my Lego Marvel universe here. All right, so what we're going to start off with is well, our main line right here. Wait, no, oh crap. Excuse me for a second. <clears throat> Alright, so we're starting off with our Iron Mans. Okay. We're going to start off with our Iron Man. So we got the Ultimate Iron Man up front. Alright, everybody knows him. Everybody's seen this one. This is probably the most absurd, at the same time, unique version that LEGO did make. Um. Honestly, if you tried to just stand him up on a stand, he'd probably fall over. So, always good to have him on actual uh, base plates and mocks or whatever you're doing. Alright, and then I can't really go into the name of all the other marks, so I'm not really going to name them. I'm just going to point out the ones that are kind of more unique. Um, got this black Iron Man mark. Uh, I really, really don't remember that one at all. Um, this came from the Hollow Armor set, which was very interesting to have. Um, the only one I don't have is Igor. Uh, so, or I think that was Igor. And then we got the OG Mark 1. That's probably the only other Mark I know. Um, and then we got War Machine. 
all in the back. Uh, road through here. Oh crap. Alright. And then the amazing Pepper Potts back here in her rescue suit. I have her hairpiece sitting to the side right now. So yeah. Very interesting. I am so glad they made this. This is one that a lot of people were asking for along with the Professor Hulk in the Endgame. Um, suit the time travel suit all right and then the next we have captain america good old steve rogers with his end game suit on along with his shield and mjolnir all right and then we have the um just lego head print masked captain america here um here's his shield not exactly accurate if this was the precise shield that came with him in the set that I had from Ultron, but we can't pick and choose. And then we have at least, um, I want to say a dozen and a half Captain Americas from Infinity War, the, the Outrider dropships. I collected a lot of those because they became, um, before they became on clearance, a year after release, um, they were about twelve forty-four. Then they dropped to five dollars. As soon as they dropped to five dollars, I grabbed a bunch of them. I already had eleven. Um, then we got Black Widow, along with everybody else who's talking about it. They actually made actual batons for her that weren't just the saber blades for lightsabers. All right, and then I have two of hers because we also have the chopper that sh the new one came in, which is great. Also with rescue and Doctor or Professor Holt. Yeah, and Professor Holt. All right, put that to the side. Then we have, like I said, the dozen and a half blonde versions of Black Widow, and then at the back we have her. Original Avengers um, minifigure from like Ultron and all that stuff. But I also, when I was at a Comic Con um, near my hometown, uh, got a. I originally thought this was an actual one at first, but then I realized only a few hours later that it was actually a custom make of the one from Ultron and. Um, the original Avengers. Alright, moving on, we have Thor. Thor from Endgame in his suit with Stormbreaker. <coughs> and then we have him in his kind of regular godly armor without the cape. We also have him two different times, one with cape, one without. Do not have his um, katana blades that he came that came with the set, but I do have the two different types. All right, that's his arena phases. All right, next, my good old friend R Robbie Bobby. He decided since I did not have another Mjolnir present because it is sitting somewhere at home, he decided to put a broom and shovel for the mighty Thor. When, you know, Odin banished him from Asgard, so he was left with broom and shovel. Then we have the Valkyrie, the one and only, literally the only one they made for a set, which is kind of tragic that they didn't make a new one, because she had such better armor in Endgame and she, they really need to make one with her Pegasus. That would have been amazing. Uh, let's see. Then we got Rocket. We got the Guardians of the Galaxy here. I'm Groot. So. All right. So we have Rocket Raccoon in his Endgame suit, his time travel suit. Then we have the one from Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, along with some Chick-fil-A. Alright. 
Yes, I have a knockoff version of the group that was a custom made from good old China. Um, at first, I thought it was the actual one, and then I realized as soon as I got it, because I started watching a YouTube video, that it was actually just a custom made group, which wasn't too bad for a custom made, but it wasn't the actual buildable group. All right, then we have Star Lord. I only have one of him. I do not have the other version of him because I did not really, really start collecting much Marvel until Infinity War came out. That's when I ended up with a lot of this. I wish I'd started collecting them sooner because I'd have a lot more valuable characters and stuff. Many figures here and there. All right, then we have Team Groot. Good old Team Groot. I am Groot. Um, Man, I miss, I miss the big group. I really do, like adult version. It's great, because, you know, it just was amazing. That really freaking hurt. Um, all right, we got good old Peter Parker, all right, from, uh, what's it called? Uh, Venice. All right, and Far From Home. Then I have three versions of his full suited from Homecoming and also Far From Home as well, um, two of them are the same, the other two are, are the other one, the other two are not, this one right here, this one, um, the arms are different actually, and the back, so, these two actually are made a tad bit different, this one has a legitimate spider, while this one has his little, uh, almost like robotic spider on it is interesting. I actually did not notice that much of a resemblance. I noticed the arms, I didn't notice the back or anything. And then we have Spider-Man from one of the, uh, gosh, I forgot about the Spider-Verse kind of sets. I haven't really collected many of those. Um, that one, I think, was my younger brother's when I, he sent me all the other ones. So most of these are mine. My brother didn't really collect much Legos. I did. And then we have MJ, good old MJ, probably the funniest character in Spider-Man, besides, you know, Peter Parker's best friend. All right, good old Nick Fury, I added him with the Spider-Man listing over here because that's the, that's the group he came in, I'm pretty sure. I haven't really looked into all this in a while. Then we got good old Happy Hogan. Honestly, I thought he was my Mission Impossible character at first. And then realized it wasn't. All right, now we got a good old Hawkeye or Ronan. All right, that is his end game time travel suit. Then we got his good old Hawkeye suit from. Pretty sure this one came from Infinity War. I'm not too accurate on that. It's been two years, so don't put me on that. All right, and then we got the one from Ultron. This one I do remember because he had the glasses on that set, the one where they are attacking Hydra at the base in uh, Sokovia, right? Yeah, that's right. All right, then we have good old T'Challa. All right, this one is the version from the movie Black Panther. Where he actually, the suit's actually glowing in that one. Fun fact, Chadwick Boseman is from my hometown, which is pretty interesting. When I found that out, I did not know that. His parents still live there. Um, <clears throat> he went to the rival high school across town from me. So, you know, obviously, I'm not his age. He's the age of my mother. That's fun. All right, here is... I forgot her name. Nakia, something like that. Gosh, I need to rewatch that movie. Uh, let's see. We got the general. Really forgot her name. All I know is her as the general. And then we have Akoya, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. I said, don't call me on the sex. And then we have Zuri. Good old scientist that we all wish we were with all the brains. Should it? I don't even freaking know. Should he? 
Ai, 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 You get a trophy. <laughs> All right. <coughs> now we got Ant Man. That right, good old Scott Lang. Honestly, I'm kind of shocked that they didn't really make him hang him the whole time. But hang him, his old guy. So we got his end game time travel suit. And then we have his regular Ant Man. All right. I do not, I never did get the large version from the airport, I wish I did, but at the time, I did not know the set was out, and I also didn't have the money at the time to get it. Alright, and here we have Wasp, I got that set just so I had an actual Wasp. Um, let's see, then I have good old Doctor Strange, which is awesome because you know he's honestly one of one of my top characters from that movie not gonna lie good old nebula so glad that she turned good instead of bad because she really got her butt kicked by gamora all right then we have good old vision this is one of the two that i have the other one is sitting in my display case at home Sometimes. Man, stuff's just getting thrown everywhere. Alright, and then we got good old Professor Hulk. Huh. Good old strapped up with the Infinity Gauntlet. Alright. The Iron Man version. Honestly, I'm so glad they made that. Alright, then we got his regular Bruce Banner. This one has the green eyes facing out. My one that I have with the eye, his regular eyes is in my Harry Potter collection right now because I'm using him as a Death Eater. Alright, <clears throat> we also have Hulk from Sakaar. He was the top dog gladiator. And then we have just a plain old regular Hulk from Infinity War. Alright. Yes, he only was in there for a short time. Like I said, it's sort of very, very misleading. Which isn't a bad thing. But I remember growing up, I always thought they were actually accurate to what the movies were. And they just had a sneak peek. I don't know how they weren't. Alright. Let's see. Ah. All right, now bad guys. This one's a little more simple because <clears throat> there's not so many characters. Also, I do technically have Captain Marvel. I just have have her in my display case at home as well. All right, now bad guys. It's very very easy to go through. We have Hydro Man from Far From Home, one of the enemies of Mysterio and Spider Man. Alright, we have Ronan. This is a custom, or yeah, Ronan the Accuser. This is a custom made one that I got from Comic Con along with the Black Widow. Uh, this one I actually knew was a custom make originally, so that was interesting. Alright, then we have the Grandmaster, alright, from Sakaar, along with one of his little minions. They should have made more of those because they look actually really cool. We have really forgot this man's name. Uh, Crossbones. 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 All right, from uh, <coughs> Civil War. Not, not Civil War. Mm -hmm. uh, Winter Soldier and Civil War. Technically, he wasn't Crossbones yet. All right. Now. Have the shocker. Yes, I do not have his actual shock hands on him. Actually, I think they're on crossbones right now. Just realized that. All right, then we have Hydra Soldier over here. Hydra Soldier over here. And then we also have, um, I really need to go back and watch all these movies. Uh, good old Smeagol over here, pretty much. Put it at that. Um, 
Now we have Killmonger, both versions of him. His Black Panther version, and then his regular Killmonger version. Alright, don't feel bad for that kid. Alright, and then we have Mysterio. Alright. Mysterio, honestly, I really didn't think about how he was in the movie. At the beginning, when I first saw it, I thought he was a good guy at first, and I didn't realize it was actually Mysterio that we were watching. When the trailers came out, I did not know that, which makes me feel really dumb. Um, all right, then we have Thanos' army. I have a total of about, let's see, five by five, 45 Outriders so far with Forge Towery, Loki at the front of this line here. Both different Thanoses from their sets, Infinity War, Endgame. I don't understand why they didn't give us a double blade for him. It's kind of sad. All right, then we have the, uh, I'm pretty sure they're the Leviathan things. Those are fun. They, they should have made a full set with the actual big version of that. You know, then we have a little, uh, God, I don't even know what they call it, uh, Chitauri thing. All right, then we have good old Chorus Clave over here. All right, Proxima Midnight and Ebony Maul. All right, the big guy, I keep forgetting his name. I have to look it up, so I'm not even gonna say anything about that guy over here. All right, then I only have three Ultrons in the back because I only ended up getting one of those sets. Then we have good old Helga the goddess of death, along with her little minions. Wow. And along with that, we have a few drones from uh, Spider-Man Far From Home with Mysterio and everything. And with that, that is... Oh. All right. And with that, that is all, my friends. It was great have you and see you next time